Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you guys are blessed today. If you are, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. But yeah, let's get right into this video. Let's go. Alright. So today we're going to be talking about New Tone, one of the best and like life-changing plugins that is around. If I had this when I first started, uh, things would probably be a lot different if I knew about it. But yeah, it's something that I've learned about uh, in the past couple months and it's definitely a game changer, especially if you are trying to recreate sounds or figure out how sounds or chord progressions and all that kind of stuff was made. And it's also really good, you know, if you're using a loop and you're having a hard time finding the root note of the loop for your 808s or your sub bass, whatever. It's really good for that kind of stuff. Honestly, in general, it's just really good for learning and it'll help you train your ears a little better over time as well too, because you'll know what you're looking for. And also, if you want to learn how to make your FL Studio look like this, so it's just one clean folder. And if you wanna learn how to get these color notes and whatnot, I will give you hex codes and everything at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, so first thing, we're gonna want to do is drag in a loop so I've just got our last free kit open here so we're just gonna drag it in so then first thing you're gonna want to do is uh, click on this little like sound wave thing and you're gonna want to go to pitch correct sample it's gonna analyze it and then boom we have uh, everything that's going on here oh and uh, kind of a side note as well too this is really good for pitch correcting uh, vocals as well too we have a shorts video on that as well too so make sure you check that out but yeah to get the MIDI out you're just gonna want to click here send a piano roll what that's gonna do is it's gonna send it to the actual uh, loop channel that you have here so if you just copy and then paste it here and then just cut that out then you have everything that's going on here. So this is all the MIDI from the loop. So as you can see, it's not 100%. I wouldn't use this as a definite definite, but it's definitely good to find root notes and you know, kind of get a better idea of like how things look. So for an example, uh, right here, this would be our starting chord note right here. So what is that? Uh, a, and then it goes to, what is that? It's so fucking small, oh my God. Uh, so A, E, and then B minor. So there you go, there's your root notes. And then instantly you know kind of where to start for the beat and for the chord progression, or if you're looking for the bass notes or the uh, root notes for the 808, have it right there and then it's all good. So yeah, that's just one example. Um, I'll do one more with you guys so that you can kind of see again, like kind of how it works. I'll I'll use a different loop this time. Another thing to mention is if the loop has like a sub bass or something in it, this is gonna work really well because it's gonna show up like very prominent in the actual MIDI when you uh, send it out. So as you can see, you can really see uh, where the root notes are right here. All right, so now you're probably wondering, how did I make this little section of mine for myself. So what I did here was I have my kind of main folder that I have everything in here. So pretty much what I did here is if you right click on here and you open a new tab, it's gonna open this in a new tab right here. And then all you wanna do is go rename color and icon. So you can name it whatever you want, change the color right here. And then right here, you can change the icon to whatever you want. So I had it as a crown. And then here, I'll just show you what the hex code is for that. That's not the hex code. I don't know. Oh, it is. Interesting. Huh, okay. Well, that's the hex code for the green, yellow right there. So uh, yeah, that is basically how you do that. And I like this because it just has the necessary folders. I just like that because I've literally never used any of these. What 
the fuck is we doing? I've never used any of these other file folders ever except for my own, so there you go. You can just have your own, just like that. Uh, and it's nice and clean, I like it. And then, yeah, for my note colors, it's the exact same, same code, I believe. And then to get the note colors here as well too, all you have to do is click on this piano and then you can change it. So you can change it to pattern, channel, or note and then it'll show the note colors there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a comment, and uh, make sure you hit the sub button. We are going to be dropping lots more gems, so definitely, definitely stay tuned for that. And without further ado, hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Peace out.